Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming with more Hearts of Iron for La Resistance playing as, of course, the French Empire. I mean, at this point, if I let an AI get to this point, we'd be beyond doomed. But no, we are doing just fine and dandy. Hey look, a fighter upgrade. Let's go ahead and give you guys some more engines, make that a little bit better. Uh, maybe a little bit of range or reliability? Mm, a little bit of range would be good, and maybe some upgrades to the weapons. At least a couple times there. That's pretty good range overall. Very good agility. Means that these are going to be extremely good dogfighters. And that is the main thing that you want to see with a fighter. Alright, so we're pulling off of Sweden because I let the claim expire. Because I keep forgetting that claims expire so er uh, quickly in this game. It only lasts for like, what, two months? I mean, it's very freaking short. Don't suppose anybody else would like to join the faction. Afghanistan doesn't want to join. Saudi Arabia, would you like to join? No, they don't think they really want to do that. They have a neutral foreign policy. Ah, too bad. It's fine. I didn't have to invite anyone else. I just wanted to. Thought it'd be kind of fun. Uh, let's try getting the English in a position where I'd be able to annex them if I so desired. Just because I think it'd be fun. There we go. Same down here, by the way, with Bohemia. We still were not able to bring them all the way down. Uh, what I can do is send you a lend -lease. Let's say convoys that you can't use. No, not percentage. How about many hundreds of convoys? That'll help. I mean, I just like to annex them, not because it matters, but because I don't like that there's a freaking dot right in the middle of my beautiful French empire. All right. How are we doing with the infrastructure projects? Uh, looking pretty good for the most part. For some reason, this stopped. But I need to bring that back up. Is already being sort of prioritized. Okay. Whales and stuff, uh, all those extra forts and factories and whatever, not actually important, but whatever. So these troops are getting in position. How are we looking in terms of supplies? We are struggling a little bit in China. We're doing okay-ish right now in Siberia. I'm just waiting for more reinforcements to get in here, and then we can begin to the attack them. Uh, you guys, green, oh, sure. are having a lot of supply issues here as well. Jeez, dude. Okay, well, uh, I mean... What's the problem here? You guys are acting as if you aren't able to actually launch this. Weird. Yeah, I don't know if we want to kick Japan out of this. It may be a little bit too much effort. Just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and create a fallback line right over here. And I'm going to take half of you and move you here. And the reason I'm doing that is just because it speeds this up a little bit. I want to do an able invasion over here. Just try to take New Guinea back. Deny Japan any more resources. I don't really have anything better to do with that army at this point. Um, so yeah, owning all of uh, Russia is proving to be pretty nice. And by doing so, even though we have very low compliance and the collaboration government apparently did not do what I said thought I was going to do. Where are they? There they are. Even though... We're doing that. We're still getting several hundred thousand more manpower out of them than we're actually spending trying to keep them under control. So, I mean, we're looking really good. At least I think we're looking really good. All right. Resistance is high for some reason in Jamaica. Let's just go ahead and send some armored cars and persuade them to knock it off. Switzerland's already got that. Uh, I think Siam could use some chill pills over there. We got enough cars to keep going. Sure. Why not? Slowly but surely, using better resources for the job. I'm learning a little bit. Uh, okay, let's go for the naval mission efficiency. Uh, by the way, we do want to move all of our planes over here, but before we can do that, we're going to need some more air bases. Uh, we could start prioritizing some air bases like right here, for example. And maybe one up over here as well. Because obviously getting my air base, uh, my air force in position up over here will make a big difference against the Japanese. Right now, General's feeling fairly confident about his naval invasion. Angered by Irish posturing. Yep. Those Irish, they're so provocative, man. You know it. We all know it. Don't lie. We know what the Irish are. Provocateurs through and through. They're too fiery for their own dang good. <laughs> I actually really want to go to Ireland someday. I think it'd be fun. I just, I want to go, I want, it sounds silly, right? But I'd like to go and just be, like, 
surrounded by their accents, because I think that the, char the Irish accent is extremely charming. <laughs> Uh, do you remember when I searched nukes? Yeah, let's just go ahead. It's a little ahead of time, but let's just go ahead and start learning how to do it. Before the Americans can. Who knows? Maybe they decide to sneak attack me. I definitely would not appreciate that at all. Alright. Uh, dark blue can go. Never mind. Don't. Supplies are a very serious issue, aren't they? Very serious indeed. Uh, let's see. I'm going to send as many of you guys this way as we can. We have an air base, but it's not a very good one. Right here may have to do. It's going to take a little while, but we can try getting some additional intelligence and recon and so on. I think I'm going to have the range to reach this far. This is terrible. Yeah, we can try anyway. There we go. Get a little bit of extra air superiority and some intelligence this way. Uh, I don't know. It's not very good. It's not very good at all. Uh, we can finally reduce the autonomy of Bohemia, and we will. Good. Let's try building more forts in the Sudetenland or something like that. I'm sure they'd love that. There we go. How's that looking? Pretty good? There you go. I just want to get rid of them. I just want to get rid of them. All right. So at this point, there's nothing to do but sit back and wait until our troops are in position. Wait until we have some more supply. And then attack. Like, just go absolutely freaking nuts on it. That's what we want to do. Uh, but I will not waste your time sitting around and waiting for that to happen. Because that's... Well, quite frankly, it's boring for everyone involved, myself included. So I'm going to do a little jump forward until ready to go ahead and start the attack. And I'll show you how it's going. Well, we've started our offensive against the Japanese. Now we also get to start our offensive against the Irish, and this should be easy. Oh, good, they joined the East Asian Cove Prosperity Sphere. Uh, rescue operations, right. I did start doing some propaganda efforts, um, but it doesn't seem to have gone particularly well. Commence when ready, try to rescue the guy, don't let him die, please and thank you. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem to be going particularly well, um, the whole propaganda stuff. I thought propaganda would be a lot better than it currently is right now. I mean, I do think that his stability is going down slightly. Let's see. Foreign propaganda, you can actually see it's going down by 0.6 per week. Though it says weekly is actually 0.31 for some reason. But the point is, over time, we are burning him down. And the lower his stability, the easier it's going to be for me to finish him off. Even so, though. Uh, let's see. We are trying to get a bunch of planes over here so I can have plenty more... Uh, I want to have plenty of bombers to try and control these areas so we can do our naval invasions. My navy is nearby and more or less ready to go. You guys still haven't taken Dublin for some reason. Hang on. You guys need to get up over here and take, what is it, Knots over here or something like that? I think so. And you guys need to get down here to Cork. And if we can do that, we can finish off the Irish real quick. And that way I own the entirety of the British Isles. It's just good for roleplay perspective, and it's also good because if after this achievement and this campaign is done, I want to uh, swap over to Fascist. I think there's another achievement for owning the entirety of the British Isles, or at least conquering Great Britain as Vichy France, which is technically what I think we would end up being. Attention. All right, Orange. Well, I don't really know what to do with you. Um, just sit there in Ireland and have fun, I guess. Okay, at this point, our navies are in position and more or less ready to go. No, Charles de Gaulle, no, look at that. No, he got wounded. Uh, let's go ahead and pop our reveal of intel, which should give us a lot of extra intelligence, as well as make it easier for us to do a landing, I think. Wait, is that on here? Invasion penalty minus 15%. I believe that that is, in fact, what I'm looking for. All right, let's go ahead and activate these guys, and let's activate green as well. We're going to try to launch a massive naval invasion against the Japanese around Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Yeah. <laughs> Hiroshima. Hiroshima. There we go. I'm going to try to grab these ports so we can actually have a major offensive. A lot of his troops are still in the mainland up in Manchuria. So I'm fairly confident he's going to leave his islands mostly unprotected. There's Hello. Nagasaki. All right, you guys head up toward Hiroshima. You just go ahead and clean all of this up real quick. I don't even know why I said Hiroshima like that. That was just pathetic. Embarrassing. That's what it is. All right, we're landing up over here next. We should be able to grab Hiroshima with no problem. Let's go ahead and attack. You guys assist. Attack from multiple angles. There we go. That's another port for me. Okay. Okay. Um, well, green is going to have a front line right here then. 
And ultimately, all of you assigned here, and let's go ahead and get rid of these naval invasion orders. You are going to be pushing up all the way along here. And purple will end up doing the same thing as well. However, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and set all you guys to aggressive. I want to give them a different front line and have them attack down this direction by Osaka. But for now, let's just push wherever we are able to. You guys just go ahead and keep going this way. I don't know where you guys are going. I need at least one of you guys to be clearing this out. And some of you guys going along this way. Okay. A lot more reinforcements on the way. Uh, let's go ahead and grab my navy since they are not escorting anymore. Let's do convoy escort. There you go. Just to make sure we catch them since I'm pretty sure they're going to try to sink these other 13 divisions sitting around. There are more troops here than I was expecting, I'm not going to lie. But we should be able to surround a few of them at least. But we've already landed in Japan. This war is going much, much, much faster than I think I have been expecting. Uh, so far. So freaking good. <laughs> So freaking good. Uh, somebody got wounded. All right. Rizalda. Let's see. I'm going to have one of you guys come up this direction. There we go. You guys Rizalda. go ahead and clear them out. Same deal. Clear out. Right. You go this way. A couple of easy encirclements and kills there. He's retreating for some reason rather than trying to press the attack against me while he had the chance. That's a poor decision in life, but all righty. Uh, you guys should be able to clear the rest of this out real quick. Écoutez. You guys all belong up over here. You guys are still pushing up toward Osaka. Go ahead and tell you guys to cross the strait as soon as you're done. And that'll be the south of Japan, all the islands under my control. Uh, you actually need to get to this over here because it's very easy for me to forget. Actually, same right here. This island, I forget about it all the time. They usually store some troops right here, and then they come in behind you and mess up your ports, and it's a huge problem. But now, I think we're going to be fine. There we go. All that's done. Purple, you need a front line. Let's go right here and have all of you get a sign. Nope, that's the wrong one. Wrong purple. I have multiple purples. Hang on. There we go. All 24 of you guys. You're going to go up over here. Okay, go and go. Just push, 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 push forever and go. I need you to go right here real quick. Okay, so they're trying to hold on to Osaka. Which I guess is not a surprise. If I can cut them off over here, that would be ideal. Uh, yeah, I just need reinforcements over here as quick as I can. Here come the 40 combat whip. He is retreating across the strait for some reason, which is an interesting choice. Okay, well, I mean, if we can surround Osaka, this gets easy. When I was planning on my trip for uh, Japan, I spent a fair bit of time trying to figure out where I wanted to go. We were going to land up here in Tokyo. Then go to, um, what is it, Hakone? It's like a little place just outside of Tokyo. We're going to stay in a Ryokan over there. Then travel over toward Kyoto, spend a bit of time in Osaka, and then back to Tokyo. The so-called Golden Roots. That's what we were going for. We can puppet up Great Britain a little bit. There we go. We need 217 political power. 200, you need 300 political power, basically, to annex even a two-province minor. It's so freaking irritating. And there we go. So Osaka has been completely surrounded. All of you guys cross. Absolutely no hope for you guys. No ports, no supplies, no service. Come up over here, please. Really bummed that I don't get a go, but... Oh, well. No one expected an actual plague to befall upon us all, yes? Maybe some of you did. I don't know. But here we are. So Japan has lost almost all of their homeland defenders, which means I didn't even have to worry about conquering all of Manchuria. All these troops up here, a mere diversionary tactic. But once I was Aye. able to get myself this naval superiority, we get to absolutely obliterate everything here in Japan. It is hilarious. You guys attack from multiple angles so you can burn these guys down a little bit faster. There we go. His organization should be nice and low. Attention. He actually has some marines, interestingly enough. I'm going to set up a quick front line right there, just so as soon as these guys are done, they're automatically going to redeploy up over here. And we'll set up an offensive line, though I don't think that Japan has much left. Tokyo is pretty much the only consequential victory point remaining. Can you all please help burn these guys down? Why are they not dead yet? Explain why you're not dead yet. Y'all should be deads. Let's get the recon. Can I get my air force up here? Answer is yes. Quickly, assist me over here. Let's get the intelligence and stuff. That would imply that you're intelligent, Provis. Shut up. It wasn't funny the first several times. But no, now we actually get an intelligence bonus too, so we should be even faster. All right, the tanks are going to redeploy up here to the north. 
You're going to cut directly across over here so that Tokyo is easily surrounded. And we don't have a lot of organization. He's actually trying to rapidly redeploy some more troops over here, but this is why we have tanks, dang it. This is why I worried about the tanks. This is the greatest plan. The greatest plan there ever was. Wow, this is actually going really well. You know, I almost didn't even need to do any jump cuts. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you guys. How y'all doing over there? Don't break good? Can't cross that straight. That'd be suicide. Okay. Can you go clear all this out? Can you guys go clear all this out? We do not have a lot of supplies over here. I should build more naval bases. Not that it really matters. You know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Because we're almost done with these guys anyway. <laughs> Japan is surrounded at Tokyo. He actually has been deploying quite a few more troops. Uh, I'm going to say that all of purple should be assigned here. Your offensive line is basically just to get to Tokyo. Green, same approximate deal. Let's get everyone in position. And we'll begin the assault. I'm going to let you guys get some planning bonuses together. So he's got a little organization of his own. It's going to be a little bit tougher to crack this than I would have liked, but... I still think we're going to end up being just fine and dandy. We get attacked from so many different directions. All right? You guys just keep pushing forward, I guess. Let's give him nowhere to run, just so we have a little bit more victory points. As soon as we are able to uh, get uh, Tokyo, I want him to just capitulate and lose. Alrighty. Um, do you guys feel ready at this point? If you want some air, air superiority, let's do that. What's my Air Force look like? Pretty good. Uh, we could expand on that probably a bit more. I could send more planes over here. We've already got the air superiority. That's not the issue. Let's send some more close air supports. We have overwhelming numbers. And then... Right here, some tactical bombers would be pretty good, too. Oh, come on. I saw them. Overshot slightly. There we go. And with overwhelming air force to bomb the ever-loving snot out of them, they're all going to die. Bomb their forts, bomb their anti-air, bomb their air bases, radar, I don't care. Bomb it all! Everything must blow up. Lend lease of convoys. I am out of convoys. That is certainly true. I've been giving a lot of it away to Bohemia. We probably should stop doing that. Modify Lend Lease. We will instead give you a metric ton of guns. That still doesn't feel like a lot. Hang on. I will give you a load of extra tanks. There you go. Just keep burning that down. Oh, good. Upgrades to naval bombers. It doesn't matter. Go and go. All of you, push directly to Tokyo. Anywhere you find an opening, break on through. I don't even care where it is. Let's go ahead and learn how to make strategic bombers just in case I want to do some nukage. You guys push up along the coast that way. You guys push up to Amori. You guys push along this coast right over here, working your way toward another port. There you go. All right, so it all comes down to this. Can we indeed punch through? The answer appears to be yes. The answers might just surprise you. Hey, look, all the troops in Tokyo immediately have to retreat. We didn't even need any nukes to take out Japan, and that's the end of the war. <laughs> so my question is, do we puppet anybody? I think that maybe no. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. I mean, I guess we could puppet Japan. It wouldn't be the worst thing. We gotta keep their navy if we do that. Puppet Japan? Puppet Japan. Let's puppet Japan for good measure. Uh, I wanna eat Siam just because I own the land all along here, so I wanna make sure that I control it. I don't really care about most of Manchuria. I mean, this doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'll hold on to most of that, or let most of that fall to China. That's fine. Pass. I would like to take the aluminum and stuff, though. Let's grab all of this. And then Korea is going to go to Japan, even though that's not properly part of Japan. I'll just give it to them anyway, because, you know, 
There you go. And turn. Pass. Pass. That should be all we need. Let's just go ahead and feed the rest of this off. Hokkaido. You get your islands. You can have Okinawa. And then for myself, I need to eat all of Switzerland. I need to eat all of Ireland. I need to eat all of Turkey, but we'll do that in a second. And turn. Pass, pass, pass. Take all states from Turkey. Take all states from Japan. And that's the end. Okay. So Taiwan and so on went to China, which just, I guess, seems sort of appropriate. But we get a new powerful vassal called Japan, the Japanese Shogunate. Non-aligned Shogunate? Okay, yeah, sure, why not? That seems perfectly fine. So they get to contribute all of their navy. We control a heck of a lot more islands. I get the rest of Southeast Asia. I own Switzerland proper, which means basically I conquered most of the world. And as the leader of the Chinese United Front, our faction basically controls 60 plus percent of the planet. Only thing we are missing are a couple of little guys like Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan, some guys in Scandinavia, the Philippines, and then North and South America. If we conquer the United States, we could totally just start pushing like crazy across all this and win. But I think this campaign went really, really, really well. So there's a lot more that you can still do with France. Uh, for example... Uh, yeah, there we go. As fascist France or Vichy France conquer all of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, so all I have to do is become fascist and then just, like, annex, I think, Great Britain, and we'd be able to get another achievement. So that'd be pretty easy. And the cool thing about going down the non-aligned path, it's not that hard to become fascist. All we have to do now is pick up the Freedom Front over there, and we still have special events that allow us to get more fascism support so we can uh, switch over. Easy, easy, easy. Then, let's see, I don't want to do Shaken Not Stirred, Warsaw Uprising. There's more here. Reach 1948? Oh, I can easily do that. This is a democratic route. Can't do that. Unless I wanted to flop over to democratic. Nah, but then I can't... I still can't form the little Entente as our, uh, as our faction. So that's still not an option for us. Uh, let's see. Occupy all of mainland France with bicycles. That's not going to be for me. No, no, no. There are more. Is there... Ah, uh, we can't do the rest of these. Boo. Is there actually any achievement to form the European Union? Because that's another fun thing that we could do, is actually just swap over to Democratic. Form the European Union, and all of this becomes my cores, and all of a sudden we have like 20 million manpower. What the heck? Oh, hi, Tibet. Um, I forgot that you were... Th hi. Uh, I'm gonna puppet you. Sure, thank you. New puppets. <laughs> I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even know I had a separate war going on with Tibet, technically, but that's perfectly fine. Anyway, yeah, so there's a lot of things we could do now as a launching off point. If we don't want to stick around non-aligned, we can do a lot of cool things, get some more achievements. Or at the very least, by forming the European Union, we will have enough manpower that we 100% can challenge the United States. It's just a question of industry and tactics. But, I mean, yeah, we are in a world conquest mode right here. This went pretty darn well. Very pleased with how this campaign went. So, what do we think about La Resistance as an expansion? I like it a lot. I think there are some aspects of it that I don't fully appreciate yet, and I still need to unlearn some old behavior. So, for example, I will say I really like the Occupied Territories mechanic. I think this is far more realistic. It is certainly very interesting. Um, and I like that it changes the pacing of the game. It forces you to slow down a little bit so Germany and other nations can't literally steamroll the entire world. I think that's pretty cool. The ways that you can burn down your resistance is pretty cool. And I like that you get a lot of different materials and stuff the more compliant they are. It's a question of do you want the short-term gain or benefit of putting down the resistance or the long-term gain of building up compliance. And you have to choose. So that's a really cool feature right there. The National Focus Trees are great. I mean, the one we've seen for France here is excellent. I will say I do think that democratic France is probably the most interesting. Communism is very viable down over here as well, but we certainly had a heck of a lot of fun just going down... Oh, hello. Just going down a non-aligned path worked pretty well, I'd say. Uh, I imagine Spain is really fun to play too, and I would like to do that in the future. And then, of course, Portugal. Both of them look really good. I've seen them in action. I can attest to the fact that the national focus trees are excellent in this particular expansion. But then that leaves us with the spies, and this is where I don't think I fully appreciate what's going on. So spy operations absolutely can be powerful, right? If we can swap, swap over the ideology of somebody else, uh, that can change the entire balance of World War II just from doing propaganda and swapping ideologies using this boost ideology feature, staging a coup. As I've said before, I've seen uh, some people tell me 
that you can play as the United Kingdom and actually prevent World War II from really happening by forcing a coup in Italy and in uh, Germany and just bypassing World War II entirely because you can do that. That's really cool, and I imagine this would be really fun to do in multiplayer. But even better than that, imagine something like this really being used to its full potential in something like Kaiserreich. Right? That would be awesome. Some mods are going to have a lot of fun with this. Collaboration governments, operations, very good. Resistance contacts, very good. A lot of cool things. The only thing in this expansion that I just do not think I understand are collaboration governments. And I, I have to believe I'm doing something wrong, and I will be looking through some comments and trying to figure out what's going on here. And maybe this all changes in version 1.9.1. But I think from the math that I've shown you guys, it is better just to hold on to it as long as you have the manpower and the equipment to actually garrison them up. But by the time they get to 80% and you can do something about it if you are running out of manpower and equipment, well, they're already fairly compliant and you're not worried about them. So, I mean, I just don't think I get it. So I would love to be proven wrong here and have some people explain it, but until I understand that, I don't think I will ever be using the collaborative governments. It just seems fine to sit back and hold on to them. Works pretty darn well. Just do as many operations to uh, boost a collaboration government as possible so you can start with a huge amount of collaboration when you conquer a state, and you'll be fine. You should be A-OK. -okay. All right, well, that's going to end this series here. I, uh, I may take a small break away from Hearts of Iron. I haven't decided, but I will come back in the near-ish future. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this series as much as I did. If so, then of course I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell. And I, as always, will see you guys next time. Vive la resistance. All right, let's go ahead and do it.